Good morning, good afternoon, and a good evening, and a good wherever you are. My name is JP, and welcome to Brizzy. Animation has come to the hamburger icon whenever you have a hamburger or a collapsed menu, especially for your responsive views, and that is for tablets and mobile devices. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Here I have a view of a phone. Go to the top right corner where the hamburger menu is, and notice what happens to the icon when I click on it. There was a little bit of a squash and expand. Nice. That is not the only animation it can do. Loads more. Let's see how you apply this. This is where we start. And there's a very important thing that you have to grasp here to make it work perfectly for your website. And that comes in how Brizzy handles responsive views and responsive design. You know what that is. That means that when I go to tablet, I can do everything here for tablet. And when I go to mobile, everything I do for mobile will not affect the other two views. However, what is important to understand is that those settings that relate to all three designs, for example, the content of the text, can only be set at the desktop level. And that is how you're also going to apply this animation. It is set at the desktop level. So that means for it to work, you need to make this menu we have here first a hamburger menu. But don't worry, if you don't want a hamburger menu on your desktop view, but only for your tablet and mobile devices, not an issue. But you need to set it here. Let's start. Go to the settings of the menu element, and this will work with any menu element. Go all the way to the left and select Make it a hamburger. Now the options for the drawer position opens, as well as the new icon animation. And here, here are all those different kinds of animations that I've mentioned. Let's use a different one, this sling, and you can test it on the page as well. You can see it slides a little bit. Choose another one. Let's choose spin. And that is what the animation will do. You can go ahead and also test it on tablet if you are not sure, as well as mobile. Now, of course, in many, ooh, yeah, <laughs> gonna have trouble testing it there, but there we go. The effect of this is, of course, more pronounced on a desktop device. So if you are using this collapsed hamburger menu setting for a desktop device, it will work very, very well. But if you just want it there for those tablets and mobiles, even though it's a touch device, you can do that. And if you don't want it for your desktop view, then you do the following. Go to your device settings all the way to the left and simply deactivate Make It Hamburger. The animation is still retained but now you still have on the desktop the default menu view. I'll update the page, and then we just go to the front end and view it so you can see that it works this way. I've reloaded this page, and you can see here, for my MacBook Air, as well as my desktop, as well as my Retina monitors, we have the standard default menu. But for my tablet and mobile devices, we have the hamburger menu, and that one was a little bit quick, but you can see here the spin effect for the hamburger menu. And that is the new animation for your hamburger toggle menu. The best place to learn about what's new and Brizzy is here at YouTube, but you can also follow us at so many other places. Check the links in the description below and visit us at brizzy.io. From me, JP, until next time.